Hello traders, friends. Uh, I took the weekend off, took a break, and uh, I've had a lot of stuff to do around the house and stuff. But at any rate, uh, getting back to it here real quick with a nightly video. And I'm going to start with my Bollinger Band squeeze on my daily and my weekly. My weekly is pretty close to the daily, but I'm just going to show you the daily real quick here. And I want to show you we're just about to have some major moves in the market. You've got Google, Amazon, and Goldman Sachs all hitting a Bollinger Band squeeze right here. And tomorrow we have Goldman Sachs in the morning and Netflix having uh, their earnings tomorrow afternoon. So uh, this tight consolidation we've been in these markets is likely to really uh, come undone real quick tomorrow. If not tomorrow, uh, the next day. Now, David LaRue is a stock charts analyst, which I really value his opinion. And I, I was looking for us to break out of this longer term trend line, but it looks like we're not going to do that. And the, the reason for that, the RSI is at an extremely overbought situation right here. And as of today, we started coming back in off that trend line. And we're, we're back below the 50 day moving average on TNX. Yeah, we crossed right below the 50-day moving average today on the close. Uh, time will tell, but if TNX comes back in, then the banks are going to go down with it. And uh, from the action we saw in the banking indexes today, it was not looking very good for the banks. So Goldman Sachs is going to really have to pull something out of her butt to keep this thing afloat in the banking sector. You can see what happened in XLF today. We've had this long-term consolidation since the 1st of December, and we broke, closed, broke and closed below that today, and Goldman Sachs didn't even announce yet. So it really looks like we're going to, at the very least, test the 50-day moving average, if not break it here real soon. And your regional bank index did the same thing. They went right with the big banks yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I guess it is yesterday now, isn't it? But at any rate, it looks like they're going to definitely test the 50-day moving average here at the very least on far above average volume. Another chart that I want to point out, uh, when you have a wedge pattern and you can't seem to break out of the to the upper side, the closer you get into the wedge, it's more likely you're going to break down from that wedge. And we are all, we're almost to infinite on the NYA, and that's the New York Stock Exchange composite. That's the broadest indicator. So this is a more bearish take on the markets. Another area of great importance are your transports, and they were leading to the downside yesterday. And uh, for the markets to be making uh, new highs, typically you want your transports to be leading to the upside. So that's another negative sign on these markets here. Now this uh, sell-off yesterday was on below average volume, so just keep that in mind. And if you go on an hourly chart, you can see the channel it's been in for about two weeks now. And as of close, we close right on the bottom side of that range, uh, suggesting we're going to break that channel tomorrow morning. Now if you use the NASDAQ transport index, which is more uh, airline weighted, the IYT is more uh, railroad weighted and FedEx. But this one here, uh, it actually, towards the end of the, the last two hours of the day, it actually broke the uptrend it's been in for about uh, two weeks now. Now if you look at tonight's futures, uh, right now the yen, if it breaks this trend, that's a more bullish scenario to the markets. That means uh, a a falling in is more uh, is better for the global markets for all their loans and everything so it looks like we're going to break that and we're probably going to open um, well until Goldman Sachs numbers come out it looks right now that the markets are probably going to open higher in the morning uh, another development uh, early last week I started talking about uh, retail possibly catching a bid well yesterday we caught that bid it was basically a short squeeze. Uh, we crossed this downtrend line, but we didn't really get, and you know, we came up, tagged our 50-day tagged our moving average, and came right back off of it. And we saw some major upticks yesterday in the apparel, uh, 
industries, the ones that really got killed because the clothing just didn't sell that well last Christmas, and they've really been destroyed. So we saw a little bit of a short squeeze in retail here, but it's nothing to be, even though it was on above average volume, the price action does nothing to be, to brag about. A couple other themes that which I noticed yesterday, the dollar came crashing down yesterday to support area, and because of that we saw a bid in our consumer staples and our utility sectors. In the overnight session right now, the dollar is catching a bid, so we're probably going to see this come in considerably tomorrow. Possibly even engulf this whole candle and just continue lower, break, finally break the 50-day moving average. And then another one I want to talk about are you, your utilities. And if the dollar does catch a bid, the utilities are going to come back down, likely. And this 200-day moving average is proving to be quite uh, difficult to get through. And uh, it doesn't look like right now the dollar is going to catch any more bid uh, tomorrow. So what I'm looking for tomorrow, I'm actually looking for a rebound in um, financials. And uh, actually Goldman Sachs possibly catching a bid. And we're probably going to have a move into more speculative stocks tomorrow based on the futures and what I'm seeing in the charts. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But... Uh, I'm not bet, betting too much to the downside. So, at any rate, that's all I got to say. And um, if you guys uh, uh, be sure and follow me uh, on at Gumby9662C on Twitter if you get a chance. And uh, please uh, like my video at the bottom of the video. And uh, leave any comments you can at the bottom too. I'd appreciate it. Uh, and your insights and stuff in case I, you have a different something I didn't think about. But at any rate, uh, that's all I really got to say. Uh, I do think the markets might be a little bit weak into the inauguration, and we might get another pop in the markets post the inauguration um, once there's no more fear or anything about him becoming president. So that's just something to be looking for. Thanks a lot.